Welcome to World Bomb. My name is Baron von Dripsworth and I'm here to teach you a little bit about making markets. Alright. So we're going to start with the basics. Shoe polish marker. Just open it up. Take the top out, like so. Get rid of all that shit. Pop the funnel in like so. Open up your bottle of ink. Your personal choice is of course Inferno. Shit's nasty and I love it. Cool. Chuck it in. Put your top back in. Give her a shake and there We're making marker out of eye drops. Awesome. Um, yeah, so start off, you just open her up like so. And squirt all the shit out. Now once you've squirted all the shit out, you're gonna have to uh, do some finer adjustments. So I'll come up close to show you properly. You just cut the nipple straight off it, like so. Which creates an opening, just there. And then what we're gonna do is thread a shoelace through that little opening. Run it upwards, turn it on itself, push it back through and pull it back down and it'll form a small little tip like so and that's your nib we then cut the excess off fill this with ink and then Put that straight in the top like so. There you have it. The ultra wide shoe polish marker. Pretty simple, same concept as the last one. You open it up. This one's a bit different though, it doesn't just pop off, you have to twist it off like so. And then this is actually filled with a gel rather than a liquid, so you have to sort of. Simple shit, and fill her up. Up and over. Pop the top back on. Put the lid on so it doesn't make a fucking mess. And there you go.
Next on the agenda is a bit of a monster. The Harpic Special. So, I'm going to open this up. I've already poured all of this out because it takes a fucking century to get rid of it. Now, if you notice at the top, there's a screw where it actually links into here, but it stops. That's where we're going to make our incision. We're going to just cut it off there. So just here, we're going to cut it off. Like this, and like this. Boom. For the nib, I'll be using surgical gauze, just because it flows really nicely. And it's easy to work with. So we get it like so, and then you sort of just have to wrestle it in once you've made a nib out of it, which can take quite a bit of wrestling. This one's actually too big, so I'll take a bit out of it. There we go. So like this, fold that over, like so, and we twist that in. But before we twist that in properly, obviously you have to fill it up with ink. Bingo marks. They're classic, old school, but they're shit. Don't listen to what anyone says about bingo markers because everyone wants to tell you that you're going to sing one. We're going to cut the top off it, like so. So that's out. This is completely useless, you don't need that. So we take this. Get rid of it. Rubbish. Next up, take a shoelace. Plain old shoelace. And we're gonna half it. Half it again. Okay, so next up we have one of my favourites. 
the K-Way Ridge Color Shine Shoe Polish, which um, is really cool because it has this nice triangular nib with a really good valve right in the middle. First things first, twist her open. And get rid of that shit. Fill her up. And you're ready to go. Now the other thing about gauze is just uh, getting ink in off shit because you will get covered in ink. Hence me making my markers in an abandoned building and not in my uh, house. Because shit gets fucked up. Boom! And there we go. Next on our list is old school New York deodorant marker. Open her up when you get the ball out. So I recommend just getting out the scissors. That's the base work in the Get rid of that shit. We just fold it over on itself until it's a size that you're happy with, basically. I'm happy with that, so... Cool. We're just wrestling in the top. Like so. And there you have your New York style mop. Big fat New York salmon. And uh, it's also easily concealable as deodorant, which is fantastic. 